Greg Neal is a consultant for concerned citizens of Curry and Roosevelt counties. He's put together a presentation he says shows the pipeline project to be a bad idea. And they're concerned about the depletion of the water in the Ute Lake and they're concerned about committing to a $600 million development project without the promise of federal financing and uh, they just think it's a bad scheme all around and they'd like for it uh, to be reevaluated. This has been studied for 50 years. It, the, the reservoir was built for this reason and there's been hundreds of thousands of dollars of studies and engineering that's gone into it. Under the uh, direction of the Bureau of Reclamation, Congress will fund the Bureau to fund these projects and the Bureau will determine at what level each project needs to be funded. Beyond the concerns of the yeah. viability of a pipeline, in Logan, homeowners are getting skittish. Property owners that own property that are, feel, are fearful of the erosion of their property values, so some of those folks are uh, calling us and saying, wow, should we put it on the market now before it's gonna go down more? And, 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 and in our office, we might refer to some of that as we're talking a few people off the cliff on a daily basis. We are very concerned about their economy. Um, they have, you know, they're, they're a great little community. They, they, they enjoy their lake, just like all of Clovis enjoys it and Portales and everybody else. And they have a, they, and that's what their economy is built around. But our economy here in Clovis is, we have 38,000 people just in Clovis. And um, Cannon Air Force Base, you know, represents about 12,000 people. And that may be, after all, what it ultimately comes down to, sheer numbers. We have about 1,200 homes here in the village of Logan, and about 600 of, the, 600 of them are by residents that live in Clovis, Hereford, Friona, Fritch, Amarillo. And a lot of our visitors and these people that own homes have come from Fritch, conscious that where their lakes have fallen to where they can no longer use them. So they are coming to Logan for because of our water availability. Right now, Logan City officials are in sort of a public relations war. On the one hand, the pipeline and the prospect of losing more water has plunged property values about 30 percent. On the other hand, water couldn't even be pumped out until 2029, if then, considering the question in their minds of the certainty of federal funding. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.